we can't evaluate summaries from large data sets easily. How about a summary report that will make our work easier? The summary will get updated automatically as we modify our data set as well. Still confused? Let me help you. Hello there. This is Fariha Tulmim from Excel Demi. You are one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forums, templates and VBA related answers. Here we have a data set with 10 book names and their selling records of how many units sold and their prices. We need unique book names and total units and sales for them. So let's discuss how to create a summary report in Excel. We will cover two methods. The application is in Excel 365 here. You can use any other available Excel versions as well. Let's get down to the video. In this method, we will name cell ranges and try advanced filter along with the sum of function. As you can see, there is our source data set and here will be our summary report. We will use advanced filter for the book names from column B to column F. Let's go to data tab. From the sort and filter group, select advanced. Here, choose copy to another location and our list range will be B4 to B14. Copy to F4. Make sure you check this box so that we get the unique book names within the range. Notice that here the cell references are absolute by default so that they don't change in terms of copying. Okay, so we get the unique book names here. Now we will define the column names of the sales report of ABC Bookstore in the name box. Select the entire range B4 to D14. Now go to Formulas tab and from the Defined Names group, select Create from Selection. Here, make sure to uncheck this option which includes left column. It will create different names for each cell in the top row. Under these names, their corresponding columns are automatically updated. OK. Now let's deselect the range and select the name box drop down menu. We can see three names according to our column headers. Notice that extract name contains the answers for the advanced filter we used for the book names previously. Now in G5, we will use this sum if function to calculate the total units sold for respective books. Our range here is book name. You can see that in our suggestion, the name we previously selected from the sales report is already here. Use tab key to select it, comma. Our criteria is to match this book name, which is F5, comma. Now, if the criteria gets a match, the function will sum from the units sold range, which is unit sold name, tab closing parenthesis, enter. So we can say that the total units sold for the kite runner is 65. Now for rest of the cells, we can use fill handle tool or we can just double click on the bottom right corner. There we go. Now repeat the process for total sales. Sum if and our range will be same which is book name, tab, comma, F5, comma. Now our sum range will be the sales which is sales, tab, closing parenthesis. Let's double click on the bottom right corner. There you go. Now we want to get the grand total for units sold and total sales. Let's add grand total. Now for the unit sales, we need to add all these values. So let's use our easy sum function from G5 to G9. Enter. So total unit sold is 292. Let's use fill handle to drag the formula till H10. And here, we get the total sales as 19,800. Let's change the format from the home tab under the number group to accounting number format. 
we will create a pivot table as summary report in this method. It is lot easier than our first method. Let's select the entire range B4 to D14 and go to insert tab from the tables group, select pivot table. Now our range is already selected as we can see. Let's choose existing worksheet. You can also choose new worksheet if you want the report in a separate worksheet. Let's choose the location as F4. Okay. Now from the pivot table fields, select all of them. And you can see that book name is in rows and unit sold cells are in values. Our pivot table is already generated. For better visual, let's increase the column width and let's change the format from the home tab under number group to currency. There you go. So we can see that our pivot table here is finally our summary report for sales. From these two methods, you can choose any of them according to your convenience. You can practice this with the help of the Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you were able to create a summary report in Excel in the comment section. Share your suggestions and feedback as well. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share the video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.